and roll and horror. Uh, not a bad combination. Uh, we've seen a couple of groups kind of jump into it. And uh, here's another one, uh, the Foo Fighters, jumping right into horror. Uh, why not? Let, let's, let's bring it on here. So uh, IMDb plot time, legendary rock band, the Foo Fighters, uh, move into an Encino mansion seeped in grisly rock and roll history to record their much anticipated 10th album. All right. Uh, hey, it sounds like they're just recording an album, right? I mean, is this really horror? I don't know. Uh, documentary? Probably not. Uh, yeah, and definitely not going to be on any kind of uh, Showtime, HBO kind of special, or even Disney Plus like Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah, no, nah, this, this doesn't go so well for them. Um, so yeah, this one, you know, I, I, if you're watching this right now, um, fresh off me releasing it, uh, I, I missed it right when it came out and, uh, I, I've been wanting and wanting to see it and, uh, I, I just kept putting it off, putting it off and then I finally got to see it. So, you know, I realized this has been out for, for a little while now, so, um, I, I, you know, as far as spoilers, I don't know that I'm going to spoil anything. Anything to really spoil too much. Uh, but I'll be a little bit more free with this one uh, since it's been out for a little while now. Um, definitely interesting. I, I guess if you're a, a fan of the Foo Fighters, um, definitely of, of interest. Uh, especially if you're a Foo, Foo Fighter fan and a horror fan. <laughs> um Definitely, uh, if you're probably one or the other, and, or maybe not a horror fan, I uh, really, but a Foo Fighter fan, I don't know how you watch this. <laughs> um, you know, not to say anything about the movie, but if you're just not into horror, uh, it would probably be a hard watch for you, I can imagine. Um, but if you're a fan of both, and, and I am, um, you know, it could lead to some fun. So I think that's definitely one thing that happens here. I think, you know, you see. Uh, Foo Fighters kind of taking a shot and, and doing a horror movie, you know, I, I think you might lower the expectations a little bit as far as having a, a, you know, fantastic, you know, horror movie and just kind of, you know, see what they present and see, you know, what they do here. And I, I think that they probably had a lot of fun with this and uh, I don't know if there is or isn't or whatever, but I probably would want to see a behind the scenes thing because I'm sure that they did have some fun. Uh, and, and of course, if they agreed to do this, they either got paid really well or did it because they had a lot of fun or maybe a combination of. Um, uh, and I, and I kind of say that because it, it, it does have a lot of blood. It has a gut. So you, you know that I like that. I'm all for that. Um, and it, it definitely, you know, dives into horror a lot more than, you know, maybe I expected. I, I really didn't know that they were, you know, horror fans or into horror or, or, you know, I, like I said, I don't know if they are or, or you know, what the reason <laughs> that they did this movie, uh, you know, besides that fun, I mean, they seem like a fun group and they seem like they had fun doing this. So, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it does get a little bit wild and crazy. Um, so yeah, the basics of it are, yeah, they, they're looking to, to shoot their next album, um, or, or to record the songs for the next album. And, um, uh, you know, they're looking for a place where they can kind of go, maybe get some inspiration, um, be away, not be around too, too many people, um, so that they can kind of, you know, put it together and, and, you know, their agent manager guy kind of, you know, presents them with this home. They go to this home. Uh, at the beginning, you you do get a glimpse that something bad has happened in this home before. Um, so you already know that something bad's happened here. Uh, so they end up in this home and they kind of get themselves settled in. Um, you know, they're, you know, I guess you know, Dave is kind of having troubles kind of formulating the the right thing here the the right sounds the right music what they want to do it's kind of funny because he kind of you know they kind of sit down to record and then you know he plays like you know one of their older songs and then they're like no we, we or, you know and then one of the bandmates is like hey we already did that <laughs> and then he's like okay try something else and no we did that too so um again you know just having fun so uh that was pretty funny um, again, if you're a fan of them, it's, it's good. You know, they don't play the full out song, but you know, you're good to at least catch a tune or two, um, in there. And, um, then at some point, uh, Dave 
kind of stumbles into the evil of the house and the evil of the house kind of stumbles into him. Um, it in turn lets him kind of gives them the music for their next album and, and so forth. So they start recording, uh, but it's soon going to lead to really bad things happening in this house. Um, it starts off, you know, kind of maybe killing, you know, a few of the people that kind of show up at this house. Uh, but then, you know, surprisingly enough, some band members are going to bite the dust as well. Um, so again, you know, as I keep saying, you know, they had fun. I'm sure they had fun. And, and, you know, if you maybe really disliked the Foo Fighters for any reason, and you haven't seen this movie, you're watching this for, for any reason, and you, or maybe, you know, a certain band member you always wished <laughs> bad on for you know, whatever reason, you know, maybe this is your shot, uh, maybe your time, um, but yeah, you know, it, I, I don't want to dive too much in, into the horror, the evilness that, that comes and whatever. There's a story there. It's ancient and whatever and spirits and, and Satan practice and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, it is going to get bloody. Uh, there's going to be some really cool deaths. Um, you know, some are done a little bit better than others, but, you know, I don't even know who, you know, helped them do this movie or whatever, but... Um, you know, I, I, you know, thought they were pretty cool and, and, and kind of worked. Um, like I said, you know, some might felt a little more real than others. Um, but yeah, it, it does get bloody and messy and so forth. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, the, the bandmates, you know, they each kind of have a personality and kind of stick to that, uh, whether that's their true, you know, I don't know too much of, uh, of them outside of, you know, the, the song. So I don't know how they are in person. You know, Dave's kind of seems like a, cool fun guy that he kind of is in this movie but you know i i have no really clue um but you know they each have different personalities and and some stand out more than others as the movie goes on and you know i think each of them kind of get a chance to kind of have their moment uh in, in the movie so you know depending on you know you're a fan of you know maybe you know certain individuals of, of the group or whatever so maybe you know that you kind of get your moment there um, like I said, you know, certain ones will die, certain ones will not. Um, uh, obviously, Dave is the central point here. Is, is he is the one where, where the evil really kind of takes hold. And, um, you know, it is about a little more than, what was it, like an hour and 40-something minutes. So it did feel a little long. I, I did think that, that maybe early on they could have cut a few things out and moved a little bit faster or gotten to the point a little bit sooner. Um, but again, like I said, you know, it almost feels like, you know, they wanted to give everybody their time, the band as a whole, their time, uh, kind of incorporate the music and, you know, a reminder that, hey, they are a band and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, you know, I, I think there are things they could have chopped away. It kind of probably could have shortened it a little bit, even, you know, the, the, the final sequence when, you know, everything is really happening and then, you know, the, the big fight is on to, to see who's going to live and die and, you know, all that kind of stuff and if they're going to get rid of the evil or not. Um, even that probably could have been cut down a little bit because it, it kind of ends at a point and you're like, oh, if the movie would have ended there, you're kind of like, oh, you know, it would have been fine. Uh, but then I think, you know, horror fans are smart enough to know that other stuff was happening here. And like I said, I could give away the twist because, you know, this has been out for a while, but I'll, I'll leave it as, as it is. I won't spoil it. Um, even though I think most horror fans kind of know that there's something else, you know, even more going on and they do then eventually go to that more going on <laughs> at the end. So as opposed to it just ending there, that more that's going on kind of happens and you're like, oh, okay, I knew that. Uh, I mean, this is a horror movie. I'm a horror fan. I knew that it was going to happen. So, um, then, you know, then it kind of goes on for a little bit more. Um, but whatever is fine. So, you know, they could have cut that out and just left it and it would have been fine or, you know, in then but they filled horror fans minds was like yeah you you knew that was gonna happen so yeah there it is so um but yeah overall it's just i think if, if you just don't have huge ex expectations and just looking for a fun movie a movie that's gonna get bloody and messy and so forth um but that's you know gonna follow a similar horror path you know like i said you know as far as um you know the, the evilness that that's in this movie and so forth, you'll, you'll kind of know where it goes. So, um, 
you know the they poke fun and there's there's it, it was it was a funny movie it's, you know besides the fact i think um you know even knowing that it's them maybe adds to the humor of it whatever um so yeah i i was you know pleasantly surprised i enjoyed it um uh, you know i thought they were funnier than i thought they would be and and i definitely thought it would it got a lot more bloody bloodier than i thought it would be so um with that i'm gonna give it 3.5 pools of blood I, I i enjoyed it uh and had fun with it and uh, i'm not gonna nitpick at, at too many things I, in it um I, I don't think they took themselves overall too seriously and, and gave you a fun fun movie so if you're looking for for something really fun and and, you know, they, they get into a little bit of the music. I mean, if you're looking for the music part of it, like I said, they play like a real quick verse of a couple of their older songs. And then, you know, they have the one major song that they're kind of working on now in, in the movie. Um, so they play that. So, you know, it, it, it's, you know, they don't go too far overboard where, where, where the movie's kind of like throwing you their, their music down your throat. Um, even though, again, I, I'm assuming that you're watching this, you're a fan of them, so you probably wouldn't mind it if they did. Um, but it is good that, that they didn't feel the need to, to go down that road and kind of stuck it as, you know, we're here to see them in a horror film, and if we wanted to see them in concert or whatever, we could turn on YouTube or the radio or whatever that, that you listen to them on. So, uh, again, 3.5 pools of blood. Uh, if you're just looking to have, maybe even if you're not truly a fan of them, uh, but want to see a movie where it kind of gets a little bit bloody and, and has some fun there. Um, definitely worth the watch there. So 3.5 Pools of Blood, and that is out of 5. Uh, HorrorScoreReviews.blogspot is where you can find um, all of my reviews written and video. But if you're just interested in the video reviews, uh, subscribe, like, do everything that everybody wants you to do. But if not, then no worries. It is okay. I understand. Um... Twitter, Facebook information down below as well. Uh, feel free to to follow, like, join the conversation there. Um, talk about this movie, other movies, uh, anything horror-related. Uh, if you have something you want me to review. And uh, certainly in the comments section, uh, you know, if you saw the movie, your thoughts. Uh, do you like the Foo Fighters not? <laughs> do you think they should come back in a sequel? <laughs> or, or do more horror movies? I don't know. Um, or maybe they, they should, you know, record like this more often. I, I don't know if you don't like them. Maybe you thought that this is a perfect place for them to record. I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, with that, I guess I'll catch you in the next review, horror fans.